1937, the year of the crowning of their majesties King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, stands out as the most memorable in our lives. The peoples of Great Britain, of our dominions, colonies, and lands over the seas, have been stirred to a new sense of loyalty to the throne and to the mother country. It is fitting that the London, Middle London Scottish Railway, the largest commercial undertaking not only in the empire but in the world, should pay its tribute, make its gesture of loyalty and commemoration of this historic event. And so, while London streets were thronged with enthusiastic crowds, there was being completed at Crewe a series of five new locomotives of a secret and entirely new design, destined to make railway history. and silver streamlined engines of the Princess Coronation class were produced to haul new trains, the Coronation Scots. Beginning with the summer services on July 5th, these trains were scheduled to complete the 400-mile journeys between Euston and Glasgow and in the reverse direction in six and a half hours. Blue and silver coaches, constructed at the Wolverton works of the LMS, complete what are claimed to be the finest trains in the world. This, then, was the contribution of the London, Middle and Scottish Railway to this great coronation year. A contribution that gives daily service to the nation, a tangible, living contribution, exemplifying the spirit of the age. new high-speed service is the outcome of many months of work and planning. It was in November 1936 that the first steps were taken to make this enterprise possible. In that month, the ancient Princess Elizabeth completed test runs between Euston and Glasgow that achieved world records for the LMS. For this remarkable feat, driver Tom Clark was awarded the Medal of the Order of the British Empire in the Coronation Honours. These runs provided invaluable data in regard to the design of the locomotive, the maintenance of the track and the riding of the coaches. And on this information, the designs and schedules for the Coronation Scots were based.
1937, in addition to being coronation year, also marks the centenary of the opening of the first portion of the London and Birmingham Railway, including Euston Station, the LMS headquarters. 100 years of progress. Here you see a practical demonstration, specially arranged for this newsreel, of the advance that has taken place in the design of engines since the first railway came to London. On the left is the locomotive lion, 100 years old and still going, if not strong, at least going. Next is the engine coronation, built in 1911 at Crewe and named to commemorate the coronation of King George V. And lastly, coronation, blue and silver streamlined product of 1937, huge and massive, dwarfing her predecessors in both looks and performance. Built for power, built for speed, a veritable king of locomotives. On June 29th, after a careful running in, the engine coronation, hauling the Coronation Scott train, was allowed to show her paces. She was in charge of driver Tom Clark and Fireman Lewis. 100 journalists and railway officials took part in a test run from Houston to Crewe and back that provided such an orgy of speed as has never before been indulged in over LMS metals. Until nearing crew in the down direction, the running, though excellent, was kept to schedule. But at Whitmore, driver Clark let her have the throttle. From 85 miles an hour, the speed rose quickly to 100. Faster yet and faster, eating up the miles. 102, 105, 108, and she's still accelerating. The rhythm of the exhaust grows stronger, faster. 112.5 miles an hour for two miles smoothly surging over the metals. A supreme effort, and Coronation has done it. 114 miles an hour, the highest speed yet attained in the Empire. Thus, crew was reached in just over two hours at an average speed of 73 miles an hour, and the Coronation Scot had earned her laurels. But this was not all. For though thrills were provided on the down journey, driver Clark and his engine had more in store for the return trip. Subject to speed restrictions, this run was made all out, with the result that the 158.1 miles from Crewe to Euston were covered in the unprecedented time of 119 minutes at an average speed of 80 miles an hour. For more than 150 miles of the run, an average of 83 miles an hour was maintained, while an intermediate 70 miles covered at 89.1 miles an hour represents still another British record. The Coronation Scot is now a regular feature of the LMS service, and what is more, a successful feature. In fulfilling her task, she is achieving a dual success as a dignified reminder of a great national event and as an upholder of the traditions of British railways in service to the nation. Continued good luck to the Coronation Scot. <laughs>